Hiya, um, this is going to be one of the most shortest videos uh, to date I've been. Um, there seems to be a lot of, um, I was going to use the word controversy, but it's not really controversy, it's, uh, I don't know what the word is, but there's a lot of people at the moment out there that seem to be trying to capture a corner this, this um, uh, conductive ink sort of a situation. Um, do some K-Rex, nice one. Um, did send him a message though, uh, how much is it? Never got a reply. What's that all about? Um, anyways, yeah, uh, Dennis has been watching your videos. Um, I don't know why people can't get this, uh, this one right, really. Um, I did a bit of work on this in the past, but not much because I'm, I'm not really that interested or or I wasn't interested or that bothered in making my own ink to sell or anything like that. Um, I know I could have cracked it without a problem, really, but um, what, I, what I'm trying to get at, uh, I've, at the moment, I'll, I'll start from the beginning, I've been working on kind of a, a zinc substrate, if you like, um, we'll call it a substrate, it's a piece of stainless steel mesh. Now I'm using these anode and cathode at the moment. Um, that's my zinc, and I'm developing this this zinc coating uh, that doesn't have to be uh, plated. So that's my zinc, okay, on stainless steel mesh. All right. Um, also, I've done away with um, the. find it well, any piece will do um, the graphite that was using on the cathode um, as the collector plate I've done away with that now and I've produced my own um, graphite blend if you like now it's on a piece of aluminium there okay uh, you'll see all sorts of marks off my probes on it but that was, I was testing it uh, for conductivity while it, it was still, shall we say, it wasn't wet, but it hadn't gone off completely. Now I've tested that on a battery, that's aluminium, okay, and it works. Uh, I haven't got the conductivity down to where I need it to be yet, but I know exactly what to do to get that down. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Dennis, you're, you're struggling at the moment. So, uh, fire off an email to me, mate. Um, uh, and I'll let you know something, okay? Um, so, this, um, this, I mean, last night this was, I, I just painted some of it on a piece of paper, and you'll see a shiny bit there, look, where I, I mean, you'll see a dull, a dull part there and a shiny part there, okay? Now, that dull part, I'm going to do is just rub my finger on it, like that. And that's now shiny as well, just there, see? I haven't burnished it, I just rubbed it with my finger, basically. So, so this stuff, I've got on a piece of paper there. Um, I can't remember what the resistance was now, but I'll, I'll just have a look. I'll, I've got this meter look, set on 200 ohms. And uh, all I'm going to do um, is try and do it one-handed, obviously, which never works. But that, on its own, on a piece of paper, is 15.2 ohms, okay? There's only one coat, um, but if I lay it down, so I can do this with two hands, And I'm moving all across the paper, obviously. Yeah, it's the same. So, you know, I've, I've, I've just pressed that into the paper, okay? Um, and there, you know, there's the meter. There's, there's no trickery or anything like that. Um, and I'm at one centimeter. I'm going to try one centimetre, but one-handed this 
never works, does it? That says now 29 ohms. If I if I move it onto a bit of uh, where I didn't burnish it with my finger, it says 30 ohms, but it's all crumpled up now. This paper, so I think I'm going to struggle. Yeah, I'm struggling now, but yeah, now I'll drop the lead. Anyway. I'm not worried about that. I don't even know why I'm bothering with that. Um, this this stuff, this coating that I've put on this aluminium, um, if I go from the aluminium to, I'm trying to do this one-handed as well. So I've got one probe, one probe on the aluminium underneath, and the other probe where I'm pressing with my thumb on this material. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So. That says five and a half ohms. Um, if I so that's from the aluminium to my material. Um, if I could do this with two hands, I could I could show you a better reading. You know that's a fact. But I'm going to try and do the same again on my material. Just the material itself. If I can, if I can get this right, one-handed. It's never good. Okay, so this is the material itself. This is the two probes underneath my thumb. Okay, and that's the material. 3.2 ohms. Okay, no trickery. It's on there. That's it. On my material, as you can see. All right, there's my material. There's the aluminium. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Um, now, like I say, I've got to get this resistance down, we know that. Uh, but I have tested that on a battery, that aluminium, with, you know, no degradation, no problems. Now, on the other side, there's a, another, well, another coating on the other side, because I wanted all of the aluminium, obviously, covered. And it's covered on the edges and everywhere else. But if I went on the back here, there's one coat. Yeah, I mean, that says... 10 ohms, you know, on that one coat. Anyways, I think you get the gist of it. Um, a meter, no trickery. I go back on the other side where it's got the thick coating. I'll give it another press. And I'll drop the leads again. Not Hollywood, is it? Okay, I mean that's five, five ohms ish. But if I do it at about a centimeter again with my thumb, still this, okay, three point eight. So you know it's pretty good. And that was my first attempt. Um, like I say, I know how to get the uh, resistance down. That's not a problem. Um, and I'm going to do that maybe the weekend or something like that. It's Thursday at the moment. So, I don't fully understand uh, how so many people get a problem with this one. I just don't get it. But... Uh, I mean, I, I produced um, some plastic uh, with graphite in it uh, in one of my older videos. And I'm, I've got to tell you, you know, this was just measuring the plastic on its own. And it was polystyrene, uh, in actual fact. Um, I melted it with acetone, uh, put a carrier with it, which was toluene. Uh, you can melt it in the toluene, but it's it's more expensive that way. And if you use acetone, it tends to dry quicker as well. So you get the bonus of that. But uh, I got 0.4 of an ohm. You know, <laughs> whether people believe that or not, that's up to them. I don't care. But I know I got 0.4 of an ohm, and I showed it on the video as well. 0.4 of an ohm, 
uh, and yeah the battery was good in the meter and yeah I tested it with various meters and yes I tested it with my big uh, LCR meter 0.4 of an ohm and that's all there is to it so um, and I have said in a, in a prior video that it was all, all to do with uh, flake sizes of the graphite um, you know I said it I don't know whether I said it back then on the video but I did say it later on in, in another video you know uh, various sizes on the graphite because you've got to fill all of the gaps basically that's all there is to it um, it's like uh, my ball milling uh, when I was using the, the stainless steel balls I used two sizes three sizes four different sizes so all of the you know the, the big gaps in between the, the big balls were, were filled as well you know with with steel bearings so um, it's, it's that principle, you know, so anyways, I'm going to leave it at that, but um, I don't know guys, I don't know why uh, everyone has such a problem see you later you know me, did forget to say one thing um, at the moment I am making uh, and testing of course, and I've got a video coming out, a lot of this stuff uh, zinc hexacyanoferrite because everyone seems to be on that one as well at the moment don't they um, I've done some testing uh, not lots of it but it works so like I say I'm making a lot of it trust me um, I I think uh, this year along with other products that I want to sell i.e. my ball mill and stuff like that but there's one or two other bits and pieces um, that I'd like to sell uh, not in competition with anyone else uh, I think Rob's already said on his live stream video that he, he's not interested in making that and selling that that's zinc hexacyanoferrate um, so I don't feel I'd be stepping on anyone's toes um, or in competition or anything like that if I were to sell it so there's another one um, <clears throat> I've just ordered uh, some equipment uh, dropping funnels stuff like that um, so yeah let's have a look at it